In the following alphanumeric, the sum of two two-digit numbers is also a two-digit number. If A, B, and C are distinct digits, right, this means they're not equal to each other, how many different ordered triplets are there that satisfy this equation? So look at what's happening, right? A, B equals some two-digit number. So an A can't equal B. So we have choices, like, like we, we can use 1, 2, or 12, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, right? And then all the way up to 98, right? All those two-digit numbers where A is not equal to B. But I added to itself another AB where A doesn't equal B, and the value of A can't change, so whatever we pick for A, we must pick again a second time, and whatever we pick for B the first time, we must also pick a second time. The result is this number right here, CC. So that's a two-digit number, right, with equal digits. So 11, right, 22, 33, 44, 55, and so forth, right, all the way up to 99. So you could test all these possibilities, and there aren't that many because, right, of the limitations of the answer, CC, right? There are only one, two, three, four, five, six, nine possible sums um, that work here. The thing about these sums of 11 and 22 and 33 is if you analyze them each, you're going to find the same thing that I'll explain here, is that this is actually impossible. It can't happen. There are no right triplets where this works. And the basic logic is, okay, if I add B plus B and get C, right? Let's say B plus B equals C. How could it be that a plus A also equals C if, if A does not equal B. Well, this never happens. And if you're not convinced of that, you could try a couple of examples and then we'll show you in a more general approach. Let's say we have an example. So AB plus AB. What about 12 plus 12? Right? Those are cat that, that number is a candidate for AB and we are doubling it. What would we get? we would get 24, a number with two different digits, not the same. And you can keep testing it and seeing how it will never work. But if you don't like that argument, let's try another. Let's say B plus B, whatever it is, it's less than 5, right? Well, well, no, let's, let's, I'm sorry, let's try this. Let's say that B itself is less than 5, right? So 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If we add a b plus b, we're going to get a number that's less than 10. In other words, nothing's going to carry over. Well, here we're saying that, that b plus b equals c. Well, a plus a can also equal c, especially when b is less than 5, unless a, right, unless a equals c. And that's easy to test, because if you have 1 plus 1 as b, that equals 2. There are no other numbers, 1 plus, that, let's say, let's say for 1 plus 1, that equal 2. You might be tempted to try decimals and fractions, but that's not what we're looking at here. And these types of problems, a, b, and c, right, are, are distinct whole numbers or digits, right? So we can't use fraction digits. Um, so there's no possible scenario where it works there. And that's when b is less than 5. If b is more than 5, right, here we can clear some of this off. If B is more than 5, this also will not work. And here's some basic logic as to why. If B is more than 5, and if I add B plus B, I'm going to get something larger than 10. So when you have something larger than 10, you carry the 1 over. So now that means this 1 is being carried over into what? Well, the next column. So that means A plus A plus the 1 we carried over when we add an must also equal C. But we, we know that B plus B would equal C. Okay. Well, this is not possible either because this implies that odd is equal to even. Right? Let's say B equals equals 6. Well, let's, I'm sorry, let's say B is greater than or equal to 5. That, that'll be better. If B equals 5, then what? B plus B equals 10. So that means in this case, C is equal to 0. But A, right, well, whatever A is, if we add A plus A, 
right? The problem here is that we're also adding 1. So if a is not equal to b, right, even if it was equal to b, if a was equal to b, in this case, a plus a would be 0 plus uh, 5 plus 5 plus 1, that would be too large. It would be a different number. It wouldn't be c. If, if a was, let's say, I don't know, 2, 2 plus 2 plus 1 would be what? 5, right? That would mean that, well, I'm going to put it like that, right? Now, c is 5. We get a different value, right? So you can't have c being two different things. c is supposed to be the same thing. So there's no connection here, right? I don't know if this, this argument, if I'm saying it in, in as, as good of a way as it can be said, but here, there is no way for this to happen, right? When b is less than 5, there are no numbers that work. When b is greater than 5, and you add b, you're going to get a result and a 1. So a plus a plus 1 will be something different. It can't also be c. All right, I hope this helped.